Hey, I thought the PHP debugger was surprisingly good, and but the uh, sort of getting starting guide wasn't that good. So I thought I'd just walk you through my own little experience of it this morning. Um, the reason why I wrote something in PHP this morning is that the the pass any file function from PHP sort of chokes when there's a question mark anywhere inside the any file. So I decided just to write my own little quick and dirty any file parser thing. And um, here we go. So PHP debugger is, is packaged by um, Arch Linux. And it's just simply called phdebug on the command line. And the thing I wrote this morning actually has a bug. I kind of knew it has a bug, but I just wanted to work through the issues to see with the debugger just to see if I could easily see it, which I was able to. So um, the thing that I wanted to trigger here was that um, even if I find this sort of customer ID here, even if it's uh, empty, I want to sort of uh, return false, like it didn't work. So the right now the problem is, is that if it didn't find a valid email, it just sets customer email to false, right? Okay. But it doesn't actually break through this loop. So it sort of just continues needlessly sort of going through the any file. Um, so I wanted to catch that and make sure my breaks work because I always often get confused between break and continue. I don't know if you do. So how does it work? Um, PHD bug, name of file, da da, there's a help. And to break on the function, um, so the, my function is called any customer. I, I run it, it stops there, and then at that point I'm, I'm stepping. I'm oh, sorry. Uh, I press S to step. And I'm stepping through the code here. Um, opening the file. Um, going, uh, getting each line. And... Uh, if the first if the line starts with the customer, then uh, you know explode it. Get the second part. Check that it's actually an email. Um, it actually isn't an email. It's false. Um, and then expect it to go out, but actually it's not because I didn't put the break in there. And then it just loops needlessly, looping needlessly. So we want to put into that. So let's put in a break. Um, break at the function. No, break at the function. Any um, customer. Um, run it. Step, 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 step. So now it's false. It should break. Yep, and it does. Yep, that's right. Yeah, so that's how you use it. Um, let's see, let's find out the correct one. Yeah, um, actually, let's just make it correct. Let's go foo at example.com. And da -da -da, let's function in customer. Oh, so should be break run. Step, 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 step. Uh -oh. oh, yeah, it did echo it there. Good, yeah. Good. That's my experience with the debugger. Um, it sort of does the trick. It's all command line driven. Um, oops. Uh, I, I guess it, I mean, could it be easier to run? Um, I oh to to look at variables, you you go ev. Let's see if I can do that again. Uh, any customer break and then run. What? Sorry. Any customer run. So I think uh, vars. No, no, so info. Info vars. Uh, step. 
Infovars. The Infovars tells you what's going on, and then uh, EV file tells you what the thing is. Well, what else can you do? Um, evidently, you can just eval code in line, I guess. So maybe change stuff. And um, otherwise, it's certainly an improvement on having basically no debugger. I hope you agree. So I hope that sort of gave you a little um, intro. So you know that there's a debugger out there for when you code in PHP next.